Despite the fact that the U.S. is susceptible to disruptive natural disasters, there are few community programs that prepare youth for all the emotional and physical turmoil that ensues, especially in the states that reside on the Gulf Coast. A particular source of anxiety arises from the perceived inability to enjoy a nutritious home-cooked meal in the absence of power. A hurricane is a tropical cyclone that has winds greater than 74 miles per hour, sustained winds greater than 74 miles per hour. Uh, they develop in warm water in generally a quiet environment, surprisingly enough. Uh, they have a purpose, and that purpose is to transport heat from the equator to the poles. So although most people look on hurricanes as natural disasters, they are in fact natural events, and they become disasters when they interact with people and the structures that we build. So I kind of didn't prepare at all myself. Um, I remember thinking about, you know, oh gosh, what all could happen, and knowing about people going to like Lowe's and getting a bunch of stuff and preparing, but I don't think we ever really prepared. It was just kind of like hoping that it would, it'll be okay, you know. Well, what did I do for food? Well, we really didn't have anything to cook, so like we lived off of like in little small bags of chips and crackers. MREs and the stuff we had in our cabinets that we had prepared, uh, like canned foods and things, and we cook them on a little burner that we had. It was propane. It didn't taste that good. It's basically like a cracker, and then you'd have a dried meal that you poured water into. A MRE is a meal ready to eat. One of the guys that we spoke to at the National Guard stated that while the MREs are nutritionally dense, they cease to become nutritionally viable after three weeks. After that time, um, he said he wouldn't recommend eating them, so I really couldn't see them being too good in a, you know, a hurricane in which you may not have access to power for months. A common go-to staple in a prolonged absence of power is a non-perishable MRE meal. Bryant Shoreliners compared the estimated nutritional values of long-term MRE consumption to the values of meals cooked using the box oven. MREs are much higher in sodium, saturated fat, and preservatives than a meal prepared in the box oven that follows FDA nutritional guidelines. Power outages are a big deal. Uh, we are so dependent on our electricity cooking, hot water, uh, refrigeration especially, keeping comfortable, all of those things. Before a hurricane, you should have your disaster kit set. Three days of supplies. You want three days because in a terrible storm like a Katrina, it might be three days before first responders can get to you. That's the first responders. So you may be on your own for three solid days. We hosted our second annual Bryant Shoreline Powerless Cook-Off event on National Preparathon Day, April 30th, 2015. To start the day, participants attended a presentation. We introduced the Shoreline objective and the Powerless Cook-Off project in a presentation featuring our box oven tutorial. Our guest speaker, Helen Murphy of the Bay Area Food Bank, spoke to our participants about the importance of food safety and how to reduce disaster-related anxiety by maintaining a nutritional diet. Following the presentation, participants assembled their box ovens and proceeded to prepare their meals. The event was successful and all participants, shoreliners, and judges were fully engaged. After major disasters, food insecurity statistically rises, and that often remains higher than the prior percentages, even after um, the press and national charity organizations have vacated the area. put all our ingredients and flavors into this bag here. Now we just shake it. You gotta shake it before you bake it. <laughs> now it's just sitting and it's soaking up all this goodness. We're making 
Parmesan chicken. It's Italian and it's it's a nutritional type because it's like under 300 calories, so it may not look like that, but it is. So we were trying to face the nutritional balance of the plan and try to make something healthy but good at the exact same time. Chicken fried rice, and in here we have all of our chicken and vegetables. We're cooking uh, chicken quesadillas. Uh, the young people and what they've done today, it's a fascinating opportunity to see them actually take uh, uh, recyclables and create a, uh, something to prepare food in. They all look great, the, the uh, ovens are all working great, they're pulling the proper temperature, your, your chickens cooked well beyond 165 degrees, which is a safe temperature to consume their, uh, their chicken. Uh, but certainly I'm very, very pleased to see this. It's a great opportunity for our school. I learned that cooking outside is simpler than I thought. Um, here school are foods that can last a while, and perishable are the ones that go bad first.